Well, the European Union is going, has been going through a difficult phase internally, economically, and on the periphery facing a crisis in foreign relations, relations with Russia, for instance. The best thing to increase, again, the confidence in Europe is, first of all, by economic results. Uh, people are most concerned about unemployment, lack of growth, which affects their daily prospects. And Europe is perceived as being not help, helping in this, or to the contrary even, as causing some of the tr trouble. And here, uh, that's the first priority, to uh, bring back that sense that Europe is working for people's uh, jobs and, and, and well-being to the inside. And that will also, indirectly, strengthen the image of Europe, uh, the countries around us, our force of attraction or what you call the soft power of Europe. Citizenship education I think is a very powerful instrument at the current moment because many of the conflicts that Europe is engaged in are about values precisely. Think about uh, the conflict in Ukraine which is conflict within Ukraine but also between Europe and Russia about two visions of a society between a modern liberal order and a more conservative authoritarian order and values are very much what is at stake even if the conflict is fought out of course with other means and here it's a matter not only of a political advantage but also about convincing individual per individual that our liberal modern values are worth defending and upholding and all the groundwork that can contribute to that is very powerful and valuable. I think that would be the shortest way to kill it because one of the problems Europe faces, the European Union as a whole, is that people are very suspicious of Brussels operations, Brussels-driven operations. And this is especially true in the field, we can regret it, but it's the case in the field of, of culture and education. These kind of initiatives have their force by coming bottom-up, by being uh, bred and, 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 and nurtured in local, uh, regional, community, civil society, etc. Whereas if they are centralized, top-down, then it will be perceived by many people as Brussels propaganda, it will go down badly with European public opinions and worse, it will also uh, confirm the suspicions of outside rulers in be it Moscow or, or, or Ankara for instance that when they face uh, protests uh, in the streets that it's uh, foreign agents uh, driven by Washington or Brussels who, who triggered such protests. So it would be a very ineffective way to uh, promote a very worthy cause. <laughs>